good evening everyone uh, first of all let me welcome you all to this uh, exceptional webinar so today's webinar will be taken by mr umesh mehta he is the ceo of samco mutual fund uh, he has an experience of more than 24 years and he's been associated with the samco group for over 17 years he is a mentor to all of us who have taught us markets from the grassroots he is someone you know who's taken a leave of absence from office for 6 months just to study the markets He's read over 500 books on markets, be it technical analysis, be it fundamental analysis, be it analyzing business in a holistic way. He is the person that we go to. So be uh, ready for, you know, an exceptional presentation. We have got something very, very interesting to show you. And, you know, uh, we'll start with an amazing story that, you know, Umesh sir has got through re researching a lot of newspapers, going back 100 years in history to find out what had happened back in 1900s. And I am sure you will, you know, get very useful insights from this session. So uh, brace yourself. Over to you, Umesh, sir. Thank you, Paris, uh, for the nice, nice introduction. But you have raised the bar so high that now I have no other option but to uh, deliver as high as I can. So good, uh, uh, good evening, every one of you, and let's begin. So let me start with the real life story. Maybe uh, I have changed the name. But the reality is same for for majority of investors. So there is this Ramu who is an invest. He's not an investor. He's an average man, and he sees a lot of people making money out there in stock market. He also wants to make money, but he's fearful. And markets is rising. He thought, let let the market fall. I will invest. Let the market fall. I will invest. And then he keeps on waiting, waiting, waiting. And at last, after seeing this advertisement that I will show you. Maybe we all have seen this advertisement some 15 years ago, but it will it will refresh our memory, you know, how markets are and how markets are so powerful, so dynamic, how, you know, it carries away everyone. The, 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 those periods, let's recollect by watching this 30 seconder advertisement. पावर है जोश जोश में आके इन्वेस्टर इन्वेस्ट करता है एंड ही इन्वेस्ट इन दिस कंपनी एंड ही आल्सो इन्वेस्ट इन म्यूचुअल फंड गेस व्हाट हैपेंस 14 इयर्स लेटर पेटीएम करो अगेन द स्टोरी कीप्स ऑन रिपीटिंग सेम एंड अगेन एंड अगेन एक्चुअली यू नो व्हाट इन्वेस्टर गेट्स ग्रीडी व्हेन द व्हेन देयर इज यूफोरिया व्हेन एवरीवन इज मेकिंग मनी ही आल्सो वांट्स टू मेक मनी एंड देन ही इन्वेस्ट्स and unfortunately those are the times when and when markets are at top and then when the market starts falling he becomes fearful and he panics and when market is falling correcting he thinks that oh my god let me sell otherwise my stock will become or my funds will or otherwise my fund will become zero and then he sells at the bottom so this cycle keeps on repeating again and again and that's that's why i think he is an average investor uh, so let's analyze what kind of return average investor generates. He generates 1.9%. So this is a study done in US for last 20 years done by JP Morgan. What they say is a 20 year CAGR return average return that investor has earned is 1.9%. And S&P 500 has delivered 5.6% on a like to like basis. Maybe in India, this number will be worse. Why so? And this is the reason he gets fearful during market bottoms. He don't invest. And then when markets are rising, rising, he becomes greedy. 
uh, fear of missing out happens, herd mentality kicks in, and then he invests at market top. So this is where uh, he, he really gets poor return. And if you can see, uh, back then in 2006, uh, seven, the great bull market, if you see the volumes were double, but prior to that three, four years, maybe investor was sleeping and he was waiting, but he really woke up actually and he invested during, during this market tops. And guess what happens? When the market falls, either he stops his investments or he sells, and that is how he gets poor return. So this, this data is also very important and which is the latest data. Uh, this shows that during March 2020 uh, COVID times, unique investor who traded on national stock exchange in the month of March was only 48 lakhs. When the market was down, when it was great time to invest, 48 lakh investors traded. But when but during market peaks, January 2022, when market eventually peaked in India, 101 uh, crore 17 lakh investors traded on the national stock exchange in the month of January. Again, History keeps on repeating. Again, the story of investor is the same. During market peaks, he comes in, he buys. And during market bottoms, he is away from the market or he is not investing or probably is selling. So this is what, and this is the result. So in USA, 1.9% was the result. But in India, this is also, we have calculated since uh, 2000 market peak, 2008 market peak, 2018 market peak, when he invests, 3.5%, 1% or 4%. This is a single digit number that he generates uh, from a two to five year perspective. And this is what, and that's the reason why today we have 3.5 crore unique pen investor, because ultimately if investors are not getting the kind of return that they want. Uh, and everyone else is becoming happy. They are becoming wealthy, but he is not getting the return. So maybe he is restricting himself or for that matter, uh, he's not giving a good word of mouth to others so that everyone can invest because his experience, his returns are suboptimal. And uh, so now let's decipher decade by decade return of Sensex. Since 1980, Sensex had delivered from 1980 to 90, 21% uh, CAGR return for 10 years. From 90 to 2000, again, 21% CAGR for that 10 year. From 2000 to 2010, it was 13% CAGR. Uh, and from 2010 to 2020, it's 9% CAGR. So yeah, decade by decade, the returns are getting uh, lower and lower. And the pressure in the market, the returns that investors are getting, uh, are getting squeezed. Therefore, we as asset managers and you as advisors, it's our duty. We have to deliver more. Uh, so that investors uh, are uh, investors are satisfied, and actually that's the reason why investor wants to invest. If this is the kind of return uh, that he, he gets, and in his portfolio, if the returns are further poor, then obviously uh, he's not going to uh, like the experience. So therefore, some amount of market timing has to be done, and it is important, not from getting it right. But from getting from but from the point of view of not getting it horribly wrong. So le let me explain what uh, I'm focusing upon. So timing typically means you buy at the bottom and we sell at the top. But from investing perspective, what investor is doing is at the top, investor is buying. So he's mistiming the market. So what do we mean by timing? Buying at the buying at bottom and selling at top, but what is required for our investors actually it is to catch his hand and stop him. That you please don't invest at market top because that is where he invests and he gets suboptimal return. So actually, invest is mistiming. He is entering at the market top. This is the reason of poor return. So what we are saying is, even if market timing, if even if he is not able to do market timing, no problem. But don't mistime the market. At least market ke top mein to mat guso. Market ke top mein to mat guto. That is what we are. That is what has to be done for our investors. And if that is, if that can be done, no, returns experience will be far, far better than the current that he gets. So the average investor's return is significantly lower than the market, primarily due to wrong market timing. So yes, 
Warren Buffett has also done some amount of timing and this we can show from uh, this slide. So this is a quarterly uh, cash balance. Uh, so when markets are rising, the quarterly cash balances are rising and when markets are falling, quarterly cash balances are reducing. So the, uh, we have to have uh, timing as part of uh, our uh, in our arsenal. So this is a scientific way. So timing is timing possible? Answer is yes. This slide gives that answer. So this is a scientific way uh, to prove that yes, timing is possible, and this data suggests that. So since inception, Sensex, if we analyze, no, thirty-one percent of the time market is below its two hundred-day moving average, or what we call as market is in bear market. USA 140, 120 years of data also suggests that 33% of the time market is below its 200 day moving average or market is in bear market. So these are the times when markets are below, markets are low when valuations are lower. It's time that investors invest aggressively. <laughs> but probably this is the time when investor runs away or is not investing. So we have to ensure, we have to give him an experience or we have to give him a product that actually enables him to invest when the markets are available and 33% of the time markets are below or markets are in bear market, that is the time we have to invest for him aggressively. So ultimately, what, why he cannot do because of one factor, emotions. Emotion is the biggest enemy of the investor. And how can we remove the emo equation of emotion? Through only one thing. And that is margin of safety. Uh, even if we are if we are in Josh and we are driving our car fast, but if we have a safe distance from the car ahead of us, even if that car goes for accident or if they apply their emergency brake, we will be safe. Similarly, in investing, when we are investing, if our investing price or when we enter the market, if it is fair, if it is reasonable or if it is cheap, then uh, even if the market falls, no, our portfolio will not get hugely impacted. And that is what margin of safety is. And if there is margin of safety in portfolio, in investor's portfolio, when he invests, then and then he will be he will be able to control his emotion. Uh, he will be able to ride the wave of bull and bear market, and magic of compounding will happen. So, introducing Semco's proprietary indicator, what we call as equity margin of safety index (EMOC). So let me describe what this emoji is. So it is a number that ranges from 1 to 200. When market levels are high, valuations are expensive, emoji value, equity margin of safety index, emoji, emoji value is low, it's time to invest cautious, cautiously. When, ma value, when markets are low, valuations are attractive, emoji value is high. Emoji means, you know, if we can say safety. If the safety is high, it's time to invest aggressively. So, so uh, this is a pictorial view of our entire MOC from, from uh, 2020, 22 years of data. If the MOC value is high, 150, 160, 170, that means uh, it's a great time to invest. Green, green is a green means margin of safety value is high. It's a great time to invest. And when markets are, uh, MOC value is at around 60s, 70s, markets are expensive. Uh, it's time to be cautious or not invest. So the red color means that markets are very, very expensive. And green is a great, great buying opportunity. So now let me uh, superimpose Nifty uh, so that this gives a clear picture. So this black line is Nifty. If you can see here, uh, uh, the COVID times market fell, uh, that there was a heavy correction in market, Mar margin of safety increased. The green color that you see, it was great, great time to invest. Then after markets became expensive, again, during Ukraine-Russia crisis, markets were uh, attractive and those were time to invest. During this 2006-07 ma massive bull market, that we a secular bull market that we saw, uh, that was a time to be cautious, not to invest in the market. And this red signal is a red indicator that markets are expensive. Then thereafter, during global financial crisis, this was a great period to invest. MOC was green and this time to accumulate. So this was Coal India IPO. 
uh, if you all remember, markets were very expensive. If you see over red, and thereafter after the correction, this was a great time to accumulate. Wherein there was political logjam, uh, which party will come to power was no one was knowing. Over here in 2014, uh, when the Modi government came in, market became expensive, but our investors were able to accumulate over here very aggressively. So this captures our MOC captures 20 years of market data. Secular bull market, secular bear market. We have black swan event, global market crisis. Everything gets perfectly captured through this uh, MOC, a number that ranges from one to two hundred. So, what has gone into in building this MOC? There are many things that have gone, but let me describe a few. G second. See, ultimately, if the cost of business is the interest. The money, uh, the cost of money is interest rate. Interest rate is also one of the factors that determine the broad mar uh, bull and uh, bear market cycles. Generally, in, in analysis, people don't use the cost of money, but over here we uh, we use because uh, giving an appropriate weight to GSEC bond yields uh, does arrive at, a, at, arrive at a fantastic uh, uh, opportunity to capture uh, market tops and bottoms. So there are various parameters priced to earnings multiple, price to book, bond yield spreads, uh, moving average divergences, standard deviation, market breadth, put call, volatility. To every factor, we have given an appropriate weight and then, and then various permutation combinations to arrive at a number that precisely captures market tops and bottoms. And therefore, this is the magic of EMOC, SAMCO's equity margin of safety and then. So this is one more way of uh, 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 saying the same thing, uh, predictive power of EMOC. What we mean by that is, if investor invest when the EMOC value was 150, his next three to five year return will be around 25-30%. But if investor invests when EMOC was 50, 60, 70, his next three to five year return will be around 4-5%. And therefore, this acts as a valid indicator uh, across time frames. Uh, depending on where the market's are, MOC value is, uh, we can know uh, that what will be the kind of return that investor will generate. So currently, MOC value is at 100. That means that investor will generate 15% return uh, from a three to five year perspective. So yeah, this MOC is there. This is for you, uh, so, uh, for you all to understand. But for investors, we need to give him a ready-made package, a ready-made capsule. So that we have embedded EMOC with our technology prowess and come out with this solution called Timer STP. So yeah, this is the launch of Timer STP in, in, in next five, 10 minutes. I'll explain uh, what, uh, what this whole concept of Timer STP is. So in normal STP, if 12 lakh is in source account, uh, every month, if 12 months is the target, every month 1 lakh rupee will be invested in the target scheme. So this is normal STP. But in timer STP, what will happen is same one lakh rupee is the base amount. But if markets are very, very attractive, up to six x six lakh will be invested. But if markets are very expensive, up to uh, one thousand will be uh, zero point zero one x will be invested of the base installment amount. So this is what we call as a great, great uh, 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 product uh, using our MOC. Uh, for our investors. Benefits of timer STP, rupee cost averaging, power of compounding, no stress, continue of, of continuously tracking the market, removes human bias and a higher risk reward ratio. So this is a multiplier table. If MOC value is high, the multiplier is 6x, up to 6x base installment amount will be invested. Uh, but if markets are very expensive, uh, it is possible that only nominal amount will be invested. So as, as, uh, as markets are expensive, only just 0.05%, uh, 0.02, depending on the EMOC amount will be invested in the target. So let this, let me give an example so that uh, things are clear. Uh, suppose 12 lakh, rupee, uh, 12 lakh rupees is there in the source scheme and target. Uh, so on 31st January, the EMOC value was 94. The multiplier assigned to that was 0 0.7. Therefore, 70,000 will go in the target scheme. February. EMOC value is so much, multiplier was so much, and 1,5,000 will go in the target scheme. In March 2020, during COVID times, 
MOC was 135, multiplier was six times, and six lakh rupee was invested in the target. Therefore, April and so and so. So it by the uh, so in just four installments, the entire money of investor got deployed, entire 12 lakhs got deployed when the markets were low. But otherwise, in normal STP, it takes full 12 months. So this is what timer STP does. Uh, so during COVID times, around 6x you know, was the multiplier and therefore immediately when markets were low, practically, honestly, you know, if you and I, it would, for us, it would be hard to write the check during those, you know, panics, during those uh, fearful times. But if we, but if systems and processes are built in, you know, automatic investment happens and, and that's how uh, we, we are able to deploy our investors' money. Now, similarly, during global financial times, uh, 6x was uh, uh, installment uh, and this was during coal India IPO, only just nominal amount was invested during debt times. This was a great accumulating time. As I told you, here the new government got elected in 2014 and thereafter the, the, the installment was just nominal because markets were expensive. Again, here aggressive investment happened. So this is how over year also uh, nominal amount was invested during market tops. And 2006-7 also nominal amount was invested. But from 2000 to 2006, it was great time to accumulate stocks in India. So this is the ultimate number, alpha. By how much money that investor will generate, the answer is around 5% alpha will be generated. Oh, uh, so now let me explain what how this 5% alpha is there. So for a normal STP, for a for timer STP, if investor does a timer STP, the next three year return, the next three year return will be 14.3%. And for a normal STP, the 12 month STP investor does, the, norm, the next three year return will be 9.4%. And the difference is this. So this is a rolling period table wherein what we say is on an average, inve investor invests at whatever time in last uh, 20 years, his annual alpha will be around 4.5%. 4, 4, 4. And this is the magic of timer STP. And the accuracy rate is around 90%. 90% of the time, timer STP will deliver superior return. 10% of the time, normal STP will uh, deliver uh, a better return. So statistically, this is it. This is how uh, we think that uh, when money is invested uh, through timer STP route, the probability that investor will generate alpha is far higher than through normal STP. So yeah, STP handles the emotions better. Uh, emotion, what we mean by even the drawdown. So this is one scenario wherein normal STP saw a drawdown of 54%. Uh, on a timer STP, investor saw a drawdown of around 7%. Similarly, one more scenario. Normal STP was uh, saw a drawdown of 20%. And, norm, and uh, timer STP saw a drawdown of around 8%. So let us check a few of the scenarios uh, during global financial crisis. This is a 12-month STP. Every month, equal amount of money is invested. Uh, and this is a 36-month STP. Every month, every month, equal amount is invested. But this is a timer STP. Within two months uh, during global financial crisis, the amount of investor was invested. And this is a kind of CAGR return. Timer STP generated 32% for next three years and normal 12 month STP generated 17%. One more scenario, COVID times. In one shot in May, in sorry, March, 6X amount was invested and therefore his entire money got deployed in four months. A timer STP generated a 28% CAG, uh, CAGR return for three years and 12 month STP generated 19%. So this is how, so what is the prescription? Uh, this is the return since inception uh, from 2007. And a 12 lakh rupee in a timer STP would have generated 80 lakh rupees. Uh, on a normal STP would have generated 55 lakh rupee. And on a 36 month uh, STP would have generated 40, 46 lakh uh, corpus. So why 36 months is little lower? Because as I told you in that slide, that 33% of the time markets are below 200 day moving average, but two thirds of the time markets are above, markets are rising. And when markets are rising, we cannot afford to keep money of our investors in, uh, in the liquid fund, overnight fund. 
we need to uh, get it deployed. So statistically, 12 months is the most optimum time frame for uh, STP. And when investor exercises timer STP option within that 12 month period, depending on the market uh, valuation or EMOC value, uh, the money will get deployed. So our promise, yes, we will disclose, uh, we will disclose uh, transparently daily this EMOC value on our website. Uh, so that investors know, our advisors know that what is the value and therefore they can take advantage. Uh, uh, so introducing Samco source scheme. So yeah, uh, we are launching our overnight uh, scheme uh, beginning 4th October, which will last till 6th October. 6th October is the closing date. Allotment will be 12th October and it will reopen on 14th. And uh, just uh, for timer STP, minimum amount that investor should have in his overnight fund is 25,000 for him to register his timer STP. Otherwise, for a normal overnight fund, 5,000 rupee uh, INFO subscription is fine. For a normal STP, daily, weekly, fortnightly, quarterly option is available. But for timer STP, only weekly, monthly and quarterly. As I told you, Monthly is the preferred uh, uh, interval wherein uh, one should invest the money of investors. And ideally, 12 months should be the ballpark target uh, where the money uh, should be invested. So these are the things when uh, uh, to be taken care of. So while just filling up the form, there is only one thing I just I should draw attention. So minimum amount is, as I told you, 25,000. And for base installment amount, that amount has to be returned. So that ideally, so for example, 12 lakh is the uh, amount that investor has invested. So 1 lakh rupee should be the base installment amount. So that's the ideal ballpark depending on the, uh, but ultimately it depends on the investor. But broadly, as I told, 12 months is an uh, optimum time frame uh, for the investor to uh, uh, deploy the money in equities. And we have kept this open so that people, uh, our partners can uh, Subscribe to BAC Star, uh, NAC and MFU platform. They are open just like normal NFO proceeds, uh, uh, NFO subscriptions are done. It can be done through this platform. And thereafter, once the money comes in uh, through NFO and thereafter, a timer STP can be registered either through our website uh, or through DIT platform or if investors are using physical form, Physical form, there are two things. The NFO form is there and timer STP form is there. So there, timer STP form has to be filled in. Or on our website also, timer STP form is there. If physical is required, then that form can be downloaded and filled. So this option is available only for non-DMAT. For DMAT, timer STP is not possible. So these are the four things that uh, you should take care, you should keep in mind. Uh, for flawless experience of timer STP. Yeah, so um, uh, through our website also it is possible and there are physical forms. So introducing uh, key personnel, uh, CEO Viraj Gandhi, young energetic, uh, who has uh, absolute grip on uh, markets, on, 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 on relationship management. Uh, myself, Umesh Kumar Mehta, Chief Investment Officer, uh, Dawal Danani, who will be the fund manager for uh, our overnight scheme. Uh, these are the start date, end date. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, this is what uh, was there on our uh, timer STP. So let me add a few things uh, before I uh, open this session for questions. So timer STP, as I told you, is like an uh, signal, you know, wherein uh, investor enters the car and this car, he enters the car. Car is our flagship scheme. So every day he can enter the car. But if he sees the signal that today if it is red, uh, that means that there is a lot of traffic. Uh, he should avoid the uh, he should avoid the journey. Uh, 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 it will take time and petrol usage will also be more. But if the signal is green, it is time to enter, time to sit, time to invest. Uh, his compounding will happen fast because if, if his, he'll, uh, his car will go, grow, uh, he'll, his car will uh, move faster and consume lesser petrol. So this is where how the EMOC, the timing part comes in. And let me also uh, throw some light on our 
flexi cap uh, scheme. So we have built a robust car and that car has traveled only six, seven kilometers till now. Uh, people may say uh, that the speed of the car is a little slower, but what we, what we have built in, what, what does the car has? Today, we have around 26, 27% weight on technology and technology shares are down by 30%. And that's the reason why uh, maybe our speed is a little slower. So now let me come back to why technology. So if I can take back you to 120 years ago, uh, when there was uh, uh, Gadi or what we call as uh, for traveling people used to have Ghoda Gadi. Then Henry Ford came in and he invented uh, and he brought in the car, mechanized car. So that was a time when entire America, entire world thought that, oh, wow, car manufacturing is a great opportunity. Let's enter into this business. So from 1900 to 1930s, uh, uh, thousands of companies of car manufacturing companies uh, arose, propped up in uh, United States. But thereafter, uh, in the great crash of 1933, 90, 95% of the companies got vanished. Those who remain are the ones who have created this massive uh, wealth uh, in the form of great automobile industry in USA. Similarly, technology. Technology, we have seen, you know, we have seen a dot-com bubble uh, wherein valuations were just on the base of eyeball, football, uh, and, nine, and during that uh, 2003 uh, market crash, 90-95% uh, of the companies have vanished. But the companies that have remained are the ones who are and will create massive amount of wealth uh, for uh, their investors and will create a lot of economic value. So this sector has got a lot of runway. Uh, industrial revolution saw 67 uh, industrial revolution lasted for 70 years technology revolution is just nascent only 30 years have passed and there are, there is more to go technology early was was probably discretionary but now technology is has become a necessity and these are a solid solid tailwind for this sector and we think that technology is a go to sector and 30% stocks are down profits are up by 20% so 50% there is margin of safety valuations have corrected by 50% and as out, and I, I, I told you 33% of the time markets are down the sensex today uh, te technology sector is the only sector probably which is down uh, which is in bear market or what we call it is below the 200 moving average so it is time to go aggressive all out uh, in this uh, in this flexi cap scheme wherein as a category we own the highest technology percentage. The average get, the average percentage is around 9-10%. And we think that uh, we have a great, great uh, portfolio of companies wherein all the companies that we have selected are robust uh, of, uh, or fine quality uh, businesses. So yeah, uh, open to questions. Uh, so I've learned from my side. Paras. So, sir, I've answered a few questions just for everyone's uh, knowledge. I'll repeat those questions. Uh, so, uh, one question is, how, sir, how do we get MOC values? So, I've answered that MOC is available on our website and it is updated daily. I've also shared the link to the MOC value. The MOC value is updated daily by system on our website, which is www.sampoimf.com. Uh, the next question is how often will MOC value be published? We've answered that it will be updated and published on a daily basis. And there is one more question for you, sir. Uh, can't we use MS, MFU platform for uh, timer STP? So we've answered that we are working with a lot of platforms where, you know, we can share our APIs and make it available on as many as platforms as available. Uh, one question that is still open is, sir, how STP is better than hybrid funds? If you could answer that, please. Okay, great. See, ultimately, the magic is in identifying uh, market tops and bottoms. So our timer STP, our MOC for that matter, our MOC, we have worked very hard. And as I told you, there are others uh, available in the market. Uh, so for us, that was a starting point. Our our investment team, our technology team set together and said, let's generate 1% 1, 1 more alpha. Let's generate 2% more alpha. Let's generate 3% more alpha. And let's try and capture uh, the entire, you know, because 20 years is a, is an absolute great time frame wherein it captures all scenarios. So we were, honestly, we were able to build those uh, 
uh, uh, the uh, capture this uh, on our uh, technology uh, stack and uh, the value that emoc gets the, that we are that we will publish uh, will eventually be able to uh, say with confidence that yes this is the time great time for investors to invest and this is the time for investors to be cautious so that so the so success will be dependent on that the hybrid fund is largely on you know portion proportion of debt equity so there the engine is different there the purpose is different our purpose the goal is maximization of investors return there the purpose and the goal is minimization of volatility uh, or you know uh, the the intention is different so if if money is uh, ultimately if return is to be considered then i think uh, this part is better because eventually this takes the head on the challenge of market of uh, getting the market tops and bottoms and then investing so this is the base, this basically is the difference uh, sir one more question we have received is uh, sir what about exit load in overnight fund zero uh, next question is which stocks are included in tech sector so tech sector we have in uh, infosys we have mindry we have coforge we have uh, uh LTIs of the world so these are the stocks uh, that we have uh next question is when can we expect funds like baf category or small cap or mid cap so as we may get better universe of investments uh, from mr aluwalia uh we will come uh, we will come and we will uh but we will not come typically as as the current categories that we will not our intention is not to fill category wise gap but our intention is we are able to offer a differentiated product to our investors uh then we will obviously come out with the funds and yes we will shortly launch uh, one more fund okay next question is sir what is the major support level if market correction continues see if market corrections continue market can probably uh, go back to around uh, 16000 but that looks little but anything can happen in in near term you if, if people get panicky uh, it can come down that but i think these are accumulating times okay uh, what about the dates of nfo so 4th october it begins and 6th october it closes uh the next question is what is the expense ratio for the new nfo scheme management fee is zero so expense ratio will be around uh, uh i guess it's be around 10 bits uh but manage for us for for because we overnight expense is just one day paper we don't apply our mind so we are absolutely sure that we don't want as amc we don't want to charge any fee for our uh, to our pockets so whatever out of pocket expenses will be there so that will be the expense okay uh, we got questions from mr kartik and mr sumit uh, on uh, taxation of timer stb uh, for the uh, the timer stb so timer stb taxation overnight ultimately is only um, assuming that in 6 months or 7 months or max 1 year the money uh, will be transferred to to the target that is equity scheme so here uh, the debt taxation will happen only 3 year so money will not remain for 3 years and therefore long term capital gain will not be available so here short term taxation will happen over year equity so once the um, amount comes in and assuming that investor wants to remain invested for long term the long term taxation will be applicable long term capital gain tax will be applicable the next question is sir will you decide the date of stp will you decide the date of stp so date will be the whatever month uh, the date will have to be decided by the investor or the advisor on the fixed date emoc value will be calculated and uh, thereafter the money will be debited through the overnight fund basis that on the day on that day uh, the emoc value the uh, evening of of that uh, day so uh, it all depends on which date uh, the investor has selected is monthly transfer okay the next question is will it also work the other way around uh, that is the transfer from flexi cap to overnight fund this question is from mr prasad 
unfortunately this is not permitted but yes you as advisor uh, when the emoc value falls to 50 60 70 that's the time you can do uh, redemption and then switch to overnight but we uh, as a manufacturer we cannot do uh, next question is from mr karthik can daily timer stp be done no daily timer stp it cannot be done okay uh, the next question is how the recession will affect the profitability of mutual funds and especially this fund see recession is there in developed country because there the cost of money has increased from uh, 50 bips to around 4 bips four, to 400 bips gaya. india there is not much impact there is a lot of narratives a lot of fear has been generated but actually, if you evaluate, no, our cost of money has probably increased just one and a half, two bits, two two percent. So on a percentage basis, the the increase in US and other countries are far bigger, far larger than we in India. India is growing at eight percent, and we have the youngest population. And I think, and that is 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 the far more sustainable way to look at it. Plus. Your emerging market money will not go to China. It will not go to probably Russia. It will not go to China, uh, Taiwan. India is that country. So the moment things settle, no huge amount of money will come back to India. And already FIIs have done uh, done a mass mass exit. So plus the, in, in during COVID times, a lot of money has got printed. Uh, uh, helicopter money around the world. There is so much of money on this earth, no. Everything and, and ultimately quality. See, if you if you drill down uh, rather than countries, if you look countries into company, so there are 195 companies globally, and India is one of the company. Today, India is the only company that is growing at eight percent. India is the only company which has got a young population. India is the only company which has got a which has got other parameters. A strong, uh, relatively, our currency is also strong. So on all parameters, India is a great company to invest. And the, the no sooner the this cloud uh, goes away, we will be the massive beneficiary of a lot of inflows. So by timer STP, what we are telling to our investor, don't if get lump sum money, put in timer STP. And in one year, you have to deploy because the next 10 years are a, are a great period. USA created massive 15x, 20x wealth after World War II because USA was a major beneficiary. Today, India is also a, a good beneficiary of this entire Ukraine-Russia uh, crisis. We were able to get crude oil cheaper. We were able to uh, get manufacturing across the world to India. The difference between China and India manufacturing cost has also reduced. So on all parameters, India is that, con that country which, has, which is a beneficiary. And so now 10 years is a, is a great, great period for India to, to show that an investor needs to be invested in India in order to reap the a massive 10x growth. Okay. Uh, one next very important question by Mr. Sashi Kumar. What about weekly time or STP? Is it better than the monthly one? See, in, when we tested the, this uh, the whole uh, interval period, uh, monthly is better compared to weekly. Okay. The next question is in timer STP funds will be transferred on the date chosen by the investors or is it on the basis of MOC? The day will be selected by the investor, but the MOC on that day, uh, that will compute the, the installment transfer. Okay. I think, uh, sir, that is, that's it. If anyone wants to ask any more questions, please uh, go to the Q&A box and please ask those questions. I think few few of us have raised their hands, but I'm not seeing their questions in the Q and A box. Please do ask the questions in the Q and A box. So we've got suggestion from Mr. Mukesh that it would be better to send MOC by WhatsApp daily to our distributors. We probably could uh, think over it. We'll probably work on it, sir. Uh, so as for back testing, sir, what is the best day or best uh, date to do timer STP? So as such, uh, see, it gets even out in a 20 year period. 
there is no one date that we can say that okay on this date uh, uh, the result would be you know a little bit better actually it gets even out so generally either uh, it depends on ultimately the if investor the date of birth you know that the day of birth uh, either that can be used and that's his luck or uh, or in the alternative it can be at the the last day of the month okay uh one question is from mr kashyap uh, hello sir when usa fall then we also fall but when usa markets rise we don't rise uh, can you please clarify see markets don't have a day to day one to one correlationship uh because economic growth are different the the demographics are different the economic Uh, the scale or or the growth stage of the countries are different so we may see that okay stock markets are rising in sync but actually if you just take a bigger view uh, um, a longer view then that correlation uh, is not there uh, so let me give an example during world war 2 europe was being destroyed but usa was not still us stock market was falling but if you compare the percentage europe was probably down by 90% from its uh, previous rally but usa was down by only around 40% so corrections will happen uh, so markets will fall but that does not mean that like to like will happen so we have to think that was india a major beneficiary or is india into a major problem if india is into a beneficiary category uh, if india has uh, has evolved Uh, and emerge stronger then obviously markets will also reflect that it will fall less and it will rise more so that's how uh, and today in in the like to like period india is probably the only country which is up by around 1 1.5 percent year till date rest all countries are down by around 10 12% 7% <laughs> but please do that is not a factor that we have to sell or we don't have to accumulate accumulate these are the times during world war 1 during world war 2 or for that matter past 120 130 years ago we have seen markets the stronger the resilient the market they will fall less and and the weaker will fall more so all those countries that we are seeing ha- are got impacted because of russia ukraine crisis and probably they are down emerging markets are down more but india is a stronger country and therefore we have fallen less so this is a is a sign of strength for india and this is actually good so it's a it's a indication that the next amount of money uh, international money when they come no india is the only country which will gain the massive amount of inflows because relatively india is the strongest uh, sir one more question uh, you know if so i think few people are confused uh, can we again clarify whether the money will be deployed on the date selected by the investor or will it be on depending on the emoc so basically will it be uh, deployed on the date selected by the investor or on the date when the emoc is low no amount of money will be deployed on the date selected by the investor every month on that date money will flow from source uh, to target that day's emoc will be considered for computation okay uh one more important question sir what will be the target scheme will it be the flexi cap scheme so yeah currently it is a, it will be the flexi cap scheme okay uh so one more question we got sir uh, when from where can we get the application forms so we have to be uh, generally to we have to we have sent by post to some of the uh, um, uh to our registered partners so actually all our registered partners uh, we have sent them uh, the application form but it is also there available on the website uh, that can be downloaded okay uh so there is one more question by mr karthik how to decide whether to choose multi asset fund or not mm. 
so that is the question uh, that eventually needs to be culled from the investor's risk appetite, his own asset allocation, uh, his own perspective, his own emotional fortitude that he has. Uh, so that will all and his earn, his earning capacity, his ability, his ability to generate uh, the kind of money that he keeps on. So there are various factors. So there is no one answer. But in general, if I can tell you uh, what I have seen in last hundred years. Because there are conflicts, there are there are great times, there are prosperous times, there are uh, problematic times. So some amount of land uh, is a good asset for uh, hedging purpose or for that matter a wealth uh, a protecting purpose. Some amount of gold has also helped uh, in the past, uh, maybe five, seven, ten percent. But largely, it is equities that has created wealth. Even in bad times, even in conflict during World War One, World War Two, past conflicts, equities have delivered far better returns. So let me give you a perspective. You know, during World War Two, there were these winning countries and losing countries. So losing countries, uh, your Germany, Japan, Italy, these are losing countries, and the winning countries were USA, Britain, and all these countries. Hundred years of return from 1900 to 2000. This return for both, you will be surprised. The difference was only two percent and uh, per annum. So losing countries generated uh, a real return of around uh, four and a half five percent, and winning countries generated return of around seven seven and a half percent on a real term basis, adjusted for inflation. So still losing countries also made money in in equities. So we think that equity is the real uh, money will be made in equities. Good quality companies, good quality businesses who have got who are strong, robust, have got uh, low debt, strong balance sheet, high pricing power, great corporate governance. So all those factors, you know, ability to uh, withstand, you know, ability to generate cash flow during bad times. When this company survive, you know, long enough, massive amount of wealth can be created. So we think that. Uh, one needs to be remain invested in uh, pure equities. Okay. Uh, I think that's it, sir. No more questions. If there are any more questions, we have two more minutes. Uh, we can answer the questions and then we'll wrap up. So people have really, you know, thanks to all our audience. I think they have really liked and be uh, patient. And they have, uh, I hope uh, they've also understood and uh, will probably go down and uh, think for their own investors that, you know, here there is a product where they can really uh, create that alpha for the investors. So, sir, there is one interesting question. Uh, if India is good for making investments, so why is there a continuous outflow of FII investments uh, from India? See, FII investment, because they run a good number of FII investors, in, uh, investor, invest, actually those institutions run models. And in that model, what they think is because uh, US dollar is rising because interest rates over there are rising. The real return that they will get is probably high compared to the emerging market where the dollar, the, the currencies depreciate. So net to net, what they calculate is their assumption is that all these emerging countries will depreciate vis-a-vis -vis US dollar. And therefore, let's move back uh, for the time being. Once things settle, then again, we will come. So that's so. This is only a temporary period. They are not going to. They are not running away permanently. They are just running away to protect their their uh, are taking a near term view that uh, because of currency that portfolio should be uh, hedged. That's it. Ultimately, on on a broader basis, on a broader fundamental basis, it's the ability of the companies to generate cash flow, the durability, the sustainability, uh, and the endurability. So this in India, Indian companies also have a very attractive proposition. And I'm sure world over, see world over the biggest problem is aging population. When people, aging population is where, you know, when ultimately economic 
economy does. India is that, you know, uh, uh, one of the biggest and the brightest spot is, you know, young population, which is still young. And that is going to drive economic expansion, uh, which the same period USA was uh, around back then in 1950s. America was growing at 8%. Today, we are also growing at 8%. And America thereafter, in next 10 years, created 10x, 15x, 20x wealth. Today is the time, same time that come in, has come for India. India, 10, 15 years down the line, will become a developed country. But today, if we want to make money, we need to invest right now so that we also take part of the uh, transition from a developing to a developed nation. Okay. Thank you, sir, for answering all the questions. Uh, sadly, you know, we are out of time now. It's 5 p.m. So again, thank you everyone for attending today's event. I hope you, you know, you are going away with a lot of interesting insights. Uh, we hope that, you know, you support us in our NFO that is coming from 4th of October to 6th of October on our overnight fund. And again, let's hope to create a lot of wealth for our investors and, you know, create a win-win situation for everyone involved and the Samco, everyone involved in the Samco family. So thank you again, everyone for attending. Thank you, Umesh, sir, for your precious time. Uh, we'll, let's hope we see you again soon. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, Paris. Mutual fund investments are subject to market risks. Read all scheme-related documents carefully.